everybody. I'm here with Rachel Rhodes from the University of Maryland Extension. And today, we're going to show you how to make a garden gnome for the holidays. I can't wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a recycled project with our tomato cage today, mm -hmm. and we're going to make a garden gnome. A garden? A holiday garden gnome. You'll need to gather pruning shears, wire cutters, floral wire, gardening gloves, a ruler, zip ties, scissors, a yard of fabric for your hat, gloves, a fuzzy nose, and a tomato cage to use as your base. Group together three or five of your evergreens with a wire at the base to help save you some time. I've cut a bunch of evergreens from our property and they smell wonderful, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. I love that smell. So do I. Mm. After everything's bundled, the very first step that we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna put yeah. the top together. Okay, and I'll, I'll come in and hold that. And you can do that with some zip ties as well. going to put on all of the evergreens. Okay, cool. Um, and then after we get the evergreens on, we're going to make his hat and put his hat on. Okay. Zip tie in there. And Do you recommend like any specific spot to kind of like zip tie it or just wherever you think it, it's going to hold the best? I would zip tie it. I would do the stakes first, like the main braces okay. of the tomato cage first. Gotcha. And if you have some chicken wire or any type of like netting that mm -hmm. you can put around your tomato cage first, you can do that as well as like an extra thing to stabilize them. Now we've got the general, like his body is constructed. We yep. aren't seeing as many holes, or actually none at all, really. No. So now we're gonna focus on? On his hat. So we have um, the fabric's been pre-measured and I just fold it in half and we're gonna cut it into a triangle. just going to kind of round the corners just a little bit. Okay. After finishing up cutting your yard of fabric and trimming, you can use a hot glue gun to connect the sides to make the corners and finish off the hat. We're just going to let that dry. Okay. We've glued, now we're letting it dry. Letting it dry. Next up, glue your gloves together if you like to keep little creatures from getting inside. You can also stuff your gloves with plastic bags to give them some depth. All right, so now we need Mr. Uh, gnome bag. Mr. Gnome. And next it's time to put your hat on top of your gnome friend. So we have his little pom-pom nose, mm -hmm. and we are just gonna zip tie it on a branch. We're just gonna take that through and put it on a branch. Zip tie it in. So, and then we're gonna take our little mittens as well, and we're gonna just zip tie them on. Same, same, same thing. Oh, let's see, first can you turn this way? Turn <laughs> it. Like, it definitely doesn't hit now. <laughs> <laughs> my brand, my little mittens lower than Oh, well, it's because he's kind of like... He's kind of like, hey! He's like, hey, what's going on, guys? Well, as you can see, we've completed ours. It's up to you to complete yours now. <laughs> watch this video again. You probably have to watch it at least five times just to try to, you know... I would down. think so, I yeah. I would think so. So, yeah. do that. Make your gnome. And um, thank you so much, Rachel. Yeah, have a good holiday. That's right. <laughs>